Right. Uh, the Wildlife Trust, an umbrella group of 47 local organisations, is looking for a volunteer army. And they want that volunteer army to help control the grey squirrel population. Um, we're seeing reports that they will train up to 5,000 people to kill trapped grey squirrels with a blow to the head. Uh, this has caused a bit of a public backlash. More than 80,000 people have signed a petition um, urging the group to find other ways uh, to to con- protect our native reds because that's basically what this is about. Uh, the grey squirrels uh, attacking the red squirrels. Um, so let's speak to Susan Davis, who's the Director of Conservation at the Scottish Wildlife Trust, uh, to find out a bit more. Um, morning, Susan. Good morning, Kate. Uh, so is this right, that you, you need to eliminate thousands of grey squirrels? Well, I think the um, activity that we're undertaking is to protect one of Scotland's most iconic uh, species, the red um, squirrel. Um, and it's not just um, a species conservation issue, this as well. Grey squirrels also cause economic damage to woodlands um, and so the management of greys um, can have an important um, benefit from, from that perspective too. Um, what I would like to get across is that this isn't some sort of willy-nilly control approach, that what we're doing is taking a very targeted approach to grey squirrel control where it will have most benefit for reds um, and that this is also will be undertaken by trained controllers as well so it will be so, undertaken in a humane way So what exactly are you proposing to do? Well the the, the, the whole project over the next five years is we'll be looking at maintaining um, a defence line along the Highland Boundary Line through control to stop grey squirrels uh, incursion into the, the red strongholds in the Highlands. It will also be control in Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire and then in eight priority areas in the south of Scotland. Um, so very kind of targeted control in those areas. Where right. we know, you're we know using we the word control, effect. but basically you're going to kill thousands of grey squirrels. What, what, what we do is we do undertake live trapping um, and we do kill grey squirrels, um, but that's set alongside undertaking other work as well in terms of habitat management, in terms of uh, improving the food source for red squirrels as well. So it's part of an overall conservation package. And killing a wild animal is very much a last resort conservation measure where there are no other available methods to use. OK, well, we're also joined by Dr Jason Gilchrist, who's an animal ecologist at uh, Edinburgh Napier University. Good morning, Jason. Good morning. Do you have a problem with this? I, I accept that the, the current strategy is has been well evaluated and is the best option on the table at the moment. My my point in raising the issue is that generally when we look at species and we classify them as pest or problem animals that often uh, they are then treated very differently from animals that are not given that status. So my, my point is that just generally as, as society we want to think about the individual animals uh, that are involved in the cull as well as thinking about the conservation, in this case, of the red squirrel. Right. I mean, do you agree, though, with the the Scottish Wildlife Trust that, you know, grey squirrels need to be controlled or killed in large numbers? Well, so there's clearly a need for control uh, with regards to grey squirrels. As Susan said earlier, in terms of facilitating the conservation of our native red squirrel and also in terms of habitat management because of the damage that grey squirrels can do to woodlands. Uh, what what I'm proposing is that what we do is continue to evaluate the options that are on the table for the future. So, so right now it's not just the Scottish Wildlife Trust um, that's engaging in the control action, it's the sister organisations in Wales and England as well. Uh, and they're doing that because right now that's perceived to be the most effective option in order to balance uh, the dynamics of the relationship in favour of the red. There are other options which are being investigated, so points that, that I've made include the reintroduction of the pine martin, a native carnivore, and also the development of oral contraceptives so that rather than us having to capture so capture and kill uh, the squirrels uh, in as a replacement for that, that what we can do is actually reduce the reproduction rates. Right, OK. So you would agree that there are too many grey squirrels, but you don't want them to be captured and killed in the way it's been proposed? Yeah, we have to, we have to, man, we have to make a choice with regards to the, the value of organisms or animals within our environment. And quite logically, what we do 
not just in Scotland but around the world, is we value our native biodiversity. And when there are non-native animals or species which are in the habitat, we have to look at whether or not they're damaging our native biodiversity and we have to, to manage that to favour our our homegrown um, species. So I totally accept that. Uh, that Yes, we do have to manage greys because of the negative impact that they can have. Uh, what it's about for me in terms of looking at the future is about continuing to evaluate other methods of control that don't involve humans um, catching and killing the squirrels. Do you have to kill them, Susan? I think at the moment, uh, as I said, that's a last resort conservation technique that we have available to us because there are not other alternatives there. There has been um, research undertaken on contraceptives um, and you know we would like to see the continued investment in that. Um, and I think testing the effectiveness of that methodology, the ability to deploy that in the field, the ability to restrict a method such as contraception just to the target species of the grey squirrel are all important considerations. But if there was another viable option for us to use then we would certainly deploy that at first it may well have to be alongside live trapping um, but uh, if there was another viable option then we would would use that and deploy that okay can I, sorry can i just come in and clarify something so so when we yeah. say live trapping the animals are trapped alive but they're then dispatched or then killed just to clarify that and the reason for that of course is that there isn't anywhere to put grey squirrels once you've trapped them and the law requires actually that once you've re once you've captured a grey squirrel you cannot release it into the wild and again that's for this, the the very same reasons that we're we're catching grey squirrels in the first place okay. so Sorry, I'll stop there. No, 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 absolutely. That is absolutely fine. We, we are actually uh, pushed for time, but thank you very much for joining us, uh, Dr. Jason Gilchrist uh, and also Susan Davis. Uh, we are just coming up to um, 11.59, actually. It's first.